Hi, my name is Rob McLeod. I'm the director of the undergraduate program here in the biomedical engineering department. And my job is to give you just a quick introduction into some materials, basic information, and then a set of videos that are gonna help you organize your transfer. So the target audience here are transfer students, students considering moving to the University of Utah out of an existing program or maybe after an associate's degree. And I want to open by saying that that's a very possible and, and not always easy, but straightforward, more or less straightforward thing to do. Each one of you will need a customized program. It's hard to give generalities about exactly which courses and what you're going to need to make up, but we will for sure create a customized program that will help you find your way into this amazing major that I want to tell you just a little bit about. So as a bit of background on the department, we were founded a long time ago, one of the very first departments of then bioengineering, now biomedical engineering in the country, founded in 1972. So we've been here for a long time. And the undergrad program is a lot newer. That didn't happen until, well, it's now getting on also pretty close to 20 years ago. In 2003, we created an undergraduate program and have evolved it ever since then, constantly adopting to the needs of our, uh, our students, primarily, certainly with an eye to uh, the kind of jobs that are available for biomedical engineers, for graduates with this degree, and also the future career path in the directions of, let's say, medicine or law or a graduate degree in some related field. So, so we try very much to take into account a broad set of goals that you have individually and that you'll hopefully focus down on throughout the course of the program. A big goal of the program is to help you not just graduate, but help you move from graduation into the next step of your career in as efficient, effective, and successful a way as possible. So the program, like I say, has been running since 2003. We've grown over that time to a group of 23 what we call core faculty. So these are tenure track faculty, faculty, many of them with tenure already, across a wide range of experience and ages. And, uh, and they're all dedicated to a balance of teaching and research. And you'll see many of them in the classroom. Um, and you'll certainly be able to uh, interact with many of them in a research setting as well, because undergrads in our program perform research and they do it in the real research world of either an academic lab or in some cases in an industrial setting. So you'll get to know a lot of these faculty over the course of your program. We also have another group of what we call career line faculty. Those are faculty who are not on the tenure track, um, but who have oftentimes a larger role. They teach more than some of the core faculty or tenure track faculty would. They have a little less uh, research activity in some cases. It's quite variable. Um, there's no fixed prototype or you know, framework for these kind of faculty. But again, some of them are important elements of the training that you will receive and can also be hosting your research. So the difference is really not that important for you as a student. Um, so, so you can kind of say we have the better part of 30 faculty um, who are all uh, playing some role in different specialties and many of whom, as I say, you'll get to meet and potentially even work with and perform research studies with as you go through the program. What's also exciting about our program is our very close tie with other departments, with other entities on campus, including the medical school. Being a biomedical engineering department, we obviously have strong ties to medicine and to faculty in medicine. And so we have over 100 what are called adjunct faculty. And you won't see them in the classroom so much, although in some cases they could be adjunct in other engineering departments, but you will be able to call on these faculty to be your research mentors and to provide you with access to a really amazing variety of research opportunities in, in every direction you can imagine that's in any way related to biomedical engineering. So, so these are an important component when it comes to the research aspect of, of your uh, career and of your training. Now, the information sources that are most important to you are all gonna be hung on our website somewhere. They're all gonna collect, connect to our main biomedical engineering website. The main source to help undergraduate students is this page you see here. This is the central information source I'm calling it. This is the resource page. This is the undergraduate resource page and it has links to everything pretty much that I'm going to share with you now and a lot more that I don't have time to get into now. 
Probably the most important part of this page in many regards, especially in the beginning, are these people who are your faculty members. That's again, the core and career line faculty. The adjunct faculty, as I just mentioned, that other 100 plus faculty members that you have to organize or to, to get to know. And we even have a guide to help you determine how faculty map to research areas. So we have a page dedicated to a directory organized by research area. And you can scroll down through this page, spot different research areas, click on names in that, look at their web pages, and learn a bit about who's doing the kind of research that you might be interested in as part of your training, and maybe even as your graduate training if you decide to do a graduate degree. Now, probably the even more important people in the short term for you as you transfer into the program are these three. So these are our three pre-major advisors. Um, you'll get to know one of them, if not all of them, uh, pretty quickly as, as you, you know, decide to move into the program. I can't overemphasize how important it is to set up a time to meet with one of these three. And you see from the web page, there's a link you can click on to get an appointment with them, set up a time to meet with them, and, and they will help you work through this, the, the particular challenges, hurdles, obstacles, questions, whatever is getting in the way of you joining the program and being successful, they can help you get there. So in the short term, they're the most important people in the department for you to be interacting with. Now, once you engage, get into the program, and especially get into the major itself, so become fully accepted as a major in biomedical engineering, there's another set of people that you want to interact with. And these are the advisors who focus on the students in the major. And we have several of them here. You see a list of, of really three main ones, I would say. Um, Dr. Frank Saxe is our pre-medical advisor. We have a lot of students who come through biomedical engineering with the goal of medicine or medically related careers. And Dr. Saxe is very good at helping you with those particular questions and aspects you have. Dr. Michael Yu is a specialist in biomaterials, which turns out to be the largest general area we have in the department in terms of faculty, in terms of courses, and in terms of students. This includes a broad range of topics from drug delivery, drug development, materials, cell and tissue engineering, all kinds of related aspects and, and really core topics in the world of biomedical engineering. So Dr. Yu can help you with that particular advising direction. And I'm there basically to pick up on all the rest of the specialties that are there. We also list uh, a student, a PhD student in the program uh, named Brian Zenger. He is an MD PhD student and he can provide specific guidance. And he has a blog and some other materials um, really about medicine and even more specifically for those of you who are thinking about a combination of an MD and a PhD degree. This is a physician scientist career path and Brian can tell you lots more about why um, that might be a really appealing choice given your particular ambitions and goals in your career. And then finally, Dr. Christensen. Doug Christensen, he is the head of what we have as a minor program. So some students decide that they would prefer to major in another, let's say, core or typical area of engineering, but want to see the application of that direction, let's say electrical engineering, as it applies to biomedical applications, biomedical uh, implementations, let's say, of in this case, electrical devices or electrically engineering driven approaches. And so anyone with the same level of academic uh, goals and academic levels of excellence can f major in another department in the College of Engineering and minor in the biomedical engineering department, just again, to give you that access. So these are the key people that you'll want to get to know over time. The three pre-major advisors, your initial point of contact, really do reach out to them. They will help you with all the details. And then as you get into the major, you'll expand your scope. And then if you expand your scope more through the classes, through the research experience, you'll get to know more and more of our faculty. And I really encourage you to get to know the faculty. They can be your mentors. They can provide you with information. They can be your champions. They can help promote you. They can help write letters of support for you for, for scholarships or when you apply to the next program that you might want to get into. They often know about job opportunities that exist. So, so get to know the faculty. They are your best support team and they're there to help you. Finally, what's next? So this is just an introduction. There are a number of videos lined up for you here to go through. 
We've made sort of, these are somewhat general videos that apply to orientation as much as they do to transfer students. Um, so, so go through them and see which elements really help you and matter most to you. Um, the first one is just a general overview um, where you see students like yourselves describing their experiences in our department. It's a very short promotional piece, which I think gives a good framework for thinking about the department, what it offers, what really the benefits are of our program. Then we go into three videos that really describe some of the nuts and bolts, some of the materials you'll need to know to, to set up an appointment, to prepare your course list, the things you've already done, the, you know, all that information, and then work through in detail what your program of study will become. This really is an important initial goal, is to work out a program of study. When do you need to fit in certain courses? When can you? get into certain courses, and this is where our advisors are so key, so essential for you. So they'll walk you through and you'll meet them in the videos, in fact, the steps you need to really successfully transfer, get into the major, and move through the program. Then finally, I've included a couple of videos to give you a little bit of an idea of what is a biomedical engineer, what is it that we do as biomedical engineers, um, and another one, just more generally, but what is an engineer? What do, what do engineering engineers do? And how do we ensure our success as engineers? And how do you improve your chances of success as an engineering student? So there's a list of bits of advice, you know, things to keep in mind as you go into the program. So with that package, I hope you'll find all the information you need. But if not, just reach out and talk to us. We're a very uh, accessible department. All our advisors are actually instructors as well as being advisors. They know the program well. They have an incredible depth of experience in helping students like you make your way into the program and in being successful. I wish you the very best of luck in making your way to the program. I want to extend once again my welcome to each of you. Um, I think you'll find this is one of the most rewarding directions you can possibly go in engineering. It will be demanding, but it will be incredibly rewarding and you'll find a success that I don't think you'll find in many other disciplines where we take all that engineering and all that math, physics, chemistry, the basics you learn out of STEM, and we apply it to living systems. And what could be more exciting than that? Again, best of luck, and I look forward to meeting you all as the opportunity presents itself.